Our next video up in the volume section is the volume of a cube. Now the volume of a cube is really simple because all you need to do is understand that cubes are three-dimensional prisms that have the same length for all the sides. And to find out how much stuff goes inside, which is what volume is, all you need to do is take side times side times side which is kind of like the same thing that we did for rectangular prisms length times width times height except this time length and width and height are all the same so it's side times side times side so side to the third power is the same as multiplying it by itself three times be careful not to do this this is not the same three times s that's not true it's side times side times side. All right, cool. Here we go. Number one. The volume of this cube is side to the third power, which is... Now, some of these are kind of like extraneous, right? If you have two up here and down here, right, you don't have to use both of them. So it might help you to just kind of get rid of them. So we have 2 to the third power, which is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Again, volume is a cubic dimension, so you're done. 8 square kilometers. Number 2. Trying to figure out how much stuff can fit inside this cube. The volume is s to the third power. It's 12 to the third power. So you get your calculators out. If you can't do that uh, by hand, nothing wrong with using your calculators here. You get 1728 cubic meters. That's 12 to the third power. And again, that would be how much stuff you can actually fit in this box. You know, think about it as water or something. Number three. Here we actually have an aquarium. It has the same dimensions on all three sides, which means it's a cube. So this particular aquarium looks something like this. And our job is if we're given how much water is in the aquarium, we need to figure out the S value, the side value. So volume is equal to S to the third power. Volume is 3375. And our job is to figure out the length of the sides. All right, to do that, in this case, all we need to do is really think about all right, what value of S multiplies by itself three times to get 3,375. And your calculator has a button uh, to help you with this, but we're really what we're doing is we're trying to do the inverse operation of a cube. So the inverse of a cube is, of course, a cube root, so the index of our root would be 3. So we're trying to take the cube root, not the square root, but the cube root of 3,375. So there's a button in our calculator for that. If you go to your math menu, and the math menu is right here, you go down to the fourth option, you can see that there's a cube root right there. So when you get to that option, you press enter, and you just type in 3375 and you get that the answer is 15 so s is equal to 15 now what does that mean it's 15 inches that means that 15 times 15 times 15 is 3375 so we're kind of given the volume here and asked to work backwards Alright, so there were three quick examples on the volume of a cube.